Welcome to a uh, new uh, program on the new series of Screening Rooms. This is uh, going to be a day with Ed M. Schwiller, a friend, a uh, very well-known independent filmmaker. As you know, Screening Room is a program for the independent views of independent filmmakers, and I think he represents pretty perfectly uh, what we're trying to do here, both uh, on a national and international scale. I'm sorry to say he's a little battered from an experience he had uh, recently trying to hang glide, but uh, He's not going to try to make a film here. He's going to try to talk about it. <laughs> and uh, he has a wonderful laugh, which I hope we can get him to, uh, to do a couple of times at least today. Uh, Ed, the piece that we just saw was from uh, Chrysalis, which was made, I think, in 1973 or 74, recently, wasn't it? With right. The, would you tell us uh, who you were working with in that? I made that film with uh, Alwyn Nikolai. We had uh, worked together about 10 years earlier on a film called Totem. And then around 68, we did a, another film called Fusion. And uh, occasionally we'd run into one another. We decided that we always said, let's do another film together. And this is what happened. Right? And this is what happened. And uh, I think that uh, I wanted to show that little piece of chrysalis, not only to sort of give a little visual um, excitement to the head of the show, but also to indicate to our audience that you are interested in certain kinds of things, certain visual matters. And uh, I hope I haven't uh, uh, traduced you in any way by you know, choosing this particular piece. I think mm -hmm. um, you should tell us uh, what you were doing before you were making films, and then it maybe it makes sense to have seen that animated line over the person's face and so on. OK, Bob. Um Originally, I was trained, and even as a child, I was interested in making images. And my formal training was in painting. And uh, <clears throat> for years, once I got out of school, I was uh, a painter, both uh, of abstract expressionism and a uh, science fiction illustrator. And I did uh, a large amount of graphics, quite a bit in terms of drawing and so forth. And I've always been interested in images. Mm -hmm got involved in action painting and the perfect trans transformation or um, evolution would be to go from action painting into action uh. image making which is filmmaking and that's the transition I made gradually mm -hmm. around the end of the 1950s I right understand. latter part of the 50s 